What's up guys, DJ Sunny Spiller 22 back here again this time with another Vanguard unboxing video and today over here as you can see in front of me we have the Vanguard V Clan Collection Volume 5 and V Clan Collection Volume 6. So like I said in the in my previous video we were gonna open uh these boxes and of course what to hope from what to hope we see from our boxes of course if we can we get some VSRs. I'm not sure which clan the VS were are the VSRs for both packs because I didn't really check the content. But I'm hoping maybe we can get Drag Ruler VSR if he has one, or maybe even Dragonic Overlord the Rebirth if he has one. So yeah, let's start our opening. So I'm gonna so we, it's gonna be two separate videos. I'm gonna open Clan Collection Volume 5. And then for Clan Collection Volume 6, we I am here now with a friend, Elson. Can you say hi Elson? Hi. Yes. We will, we will be mass opening 4 boxes of the Clan Collection Volume 6 we have Because we have 4 boxes so yeah, Please stay tuned for that video first So now let's start off with V Clan Collection Volume 5 Okay, so V Clan Collection 5 we have 12 clans The first 12 clans will be Kagero, Dimension Police Bermuda Triangle, Royal Paladin, Murakumo, Aqua Force, Mega Colony and um oh, no grapple, no was pet too. Uh, those are some of the main clans. So yeah, let's start. So if you're not sure, really familiar with this uh, box, each box contains 15 packs. Or was it 12? Sorry, 12 packs, and one pack contains seven cards. And the best part is you're getting one copy of each card. So if you buy four boxes of this, you'll get a playset of everything. So yeah, so this is our Force marker, we managed to get the Bermuda Triangle one, the Duo Rock, Force 1 and Force 2, so let's start. First pack. Okay, so this is Narukami cards. The brand, yeah, the brand new Aqua Force Rippers. Okay, so this is our first grade 3. We managed to pull the Genesis one. If I'm not wrong, let's see what she is. Okay, so our first main grade 3, we have free beloved regalia free so first skill is continuous on vanguard circle if all of your guards with the divine gauge cannot leave the guard by your opponent's card effects and get power plus 5k cost vanguard circle cost color plus one look at five cards on the top of your deck choose up to one card from among them and call it to a guard circle and shuffle your deck if you call a unit with regalia in its card name choose up to two of your guards and put a card from a soul face down as a divine gauge for each of them Second, last skill is at the end of your, at the beginning of your turn, if your opponent's damage has four or less cards, cost discard five divine gauge. Choose one of your opponent's vanguard and deal one damage. Wow. Okay. So it's a damage dealer, which is pretty interesting for Genesis. And he lets you call the top, top two of the vanguard to the top from your soul three times divine gauge. And then he gets you free divine gauge as well. And he lets you superior call as well. And your rear guards, your divine gauge cannot give for your opponent's card effect and you get power plus 5k. So yeah, it's actually pretty good. Anti-retire, anti-lock. Yeah, that's pretty good. So that's our first main grade 3 and the rest are some like reprints. And the best part about this pack, they are repeating the heal guardians for every single clan. So yeah, that's, that's pretty good. So this is our first main grade 3. Let's move on to the second box. Okay, we have four. Oh, this is a new card. This is a uh, Goku for Kagero. Another new card for uh, Pure Moon. So we have our next main grade three. So this is Giraffa Reverse. So let's see what Giraffa Reverse does. Okay, so we have Evil Armor so Sovereign Uru Giraffa Reverse. So skill is once per turn. Omega Circle when this unit attacks a Vanguard cause Kalamas one. Your opponent chooses one or more cards from their hand and corner to Regal Circle as rest. Your opponent cards auto abilities do not activate from this call. If the number of cards your opponent caught is less than the number of grade 3 cards with Giraffa in their card names in your soul, lock cost lock one rear guard and stand this unit. During your turn, when second skill is during your turn when your opponent's rear guard is placed, cost lock and rear guard. And all the front row units get power plus 15k until the end of the turn. Wow, that's actually pretty good skill. It has a potential restand skill and it forces your opponent to call a card. Yes. Like technically, like the uh, Shinanri skill, and whenever your opponent calls a card, you lock one of your regards, and all your front row gets 15k, including him. So yeah, that's actually very strong. That's actually really good, actually. So it's some um, reprints here. Okay, 
Okay, so we have the new battle sister. This is battle sister Mocha. This is a pretty nostalgic card. Skydiver, another nostalgic card to see. And we have Dragonic Overlord, the Rebirth. That's yes, it, Kagiro has another reverse unit and it's Dragonic Overlord, the Rebirth. So yeah, let's see what Rebirth does. Okay, Dragonic Overlord, the Rebirth. First skill, at the beginning of your battle phase cost, it cost, you have one or more regards. Lock all of your regards. And until end of the turn, at the end of the next battle, this unit attack cost Kanobas 1, discard a card in your hand, and stand this unit. Second skill is when this unit plays, when this unit attacks a Vanguard, cost Soul Blast 1, choose one of your opponent's radar for every two of your lock cards and retire it. Then last skill is at the end of the battle that this unit attack. If you have five or more lock cards and your damage has four or more cards, cost discard two cards from your hand, stand this unit, and you get an imaginary gift force. So yes. It's just like uh, old times where he can triple restand, but in, in the past he needs to break right on top of the old Dragonic Overlord. But this time he doesn't need to break right, he himself can triple restand. So he's technically like Dragonic Overlord uh, across when you copy Dragonic Overlord the end, but you have to lock your whole your whole field. But he discards, he discards less cards anyway. So yeah, that's pretty good. Very nice to see him, but too bad we didn't get an SP. And we have Better Sister from March as a reprint, it's pretty good. And Bermuda Hill Guardian, this card is pricey, so it's good to see it. Spec. Some Murakumo. Yeah, Murakumo. Ripple Grid 1. And we have Reverse Dayusha. So, yeah, this is the reverse unit for Dimension Police. Let's see what it does. Okay, so we have Dark Dimension Robo. Reverse Dayusha. Hand. And the First skill, hand. At the end of the battle, your Vanguard with your grid 3 or greater Vanguard with Dimension Robo in his card name attack. If if all of the units that attack this turn had Dimension Robo in a card name, cause Kanamas 1, write this, this card as 10 until the end of the turn. At the end of the turn, this unit gets drive minus 1, and you cannot write by card effects. Second skill is on Vanguard Circle once per turn, block 2 Regards with Dimension Robo in your card name, choose one of your opponent's Vanguard, and it gets power minus 10k. Wow, so just like the that's like old times, he Minuses, minuses your opponent's Vanguard power and he gives you a superior right skill as well just like uh, Great Dayusha so yeah that's actually a very strong card hey Shirayuki reprint very nice reprint to see and the Hill Guardians let's carry on okay some Regalia support Pale Moon and we have the Pale Moon Great 3 this is Farah I think yes Farah so let's see what Farah does Sarah? Yeah, Sarah. Okay, so let's see what Sarah does. Okay, so we have Sword Magician Sarah. First skill, on Vanguard Circle, cause Kalamas 1, search your deck for up to 1 grade 3 card, call it to Regal Circle, and shuffle your deck. And the, until the end of the turn, this unit gets continuous Vanguard. All your grade 3 Regals gets boost, and it gets power plus 2k. Auto on Vanguard Circle, at the end of the battle, your drive track reveal a grade 3 or greater card, cause put 2 normal units from a Regal on the bottom of the deck in any order. Choose up to 2 Great 3 cards from the sword according to Regal Circle. So basically it's like a, it supports uh, great three, uh, your Great 3 so you can like maybe run Nightmare Dolls to Nightmare Dolls and some and other stuff. And at the end of the battle you can, if you draft a Great 3 you can call 2 normal, put 2 normal to Regal Circle but in order to choose up to 2 Great 3 from the sword and call it Regal Circle. So yeah, multi attack I guess. So yeah, that's not too bad. Some better sister reprint, Dauntless Drive, good, very good reprint to see. And the Hill Guardian for Pale Moon is also pretty pricey. Okay, so this is the. Uh, what was this again? Sweep Command, yeah, the Radicator Sweep Command, yeah. Sadly, it's not our main grid tree, so yeah. Okay, so this is another reverse unit, so this is better sister from March. Okay, so we have Battle Sister so Battles Heretic Battle Sister for March Reverse. First or Vanguard Circle during your turn, all units with Battle Sister in their card name gets power plus 5k for each of your lock cards. Second skill, cause Kana plus 1 and discard one card from your hand. Look at the same number of cards from the top of the deck as a number of units with Battle Sister in their different card names. Choose any number of cards from among them, put them on top of your deck in any order, and put the rest and remaining on bottom order. Bottom of your deck in any order. Then choose then cost lock one or more of the Regal's Battle Sister in, the, in their different card names and draw a card for each lock card for this cost. So yeah, actually it's actually pretty good. 
because you can for each battle sister battle rear guard you can just color one discard one if you have five you can look check the top five then you can rearrange it on however you want then after that you can just lock any amount and then you draw a card for each animal so you can basically you can do whatever you want you can lock like your all whole back row and you draw three cards you can lock one you draw one and you still have two boosters so yeah actually it's not too bad i actually yeah, it's actually you, you you can choose whatever you want to do with this card so it's actually pretty good so yeah there's our main victory regalia support few guardian for spike brothers okay we are now at half of the box already so let's meet up a bit so this is genesis spike brother support and we have our spike brother main grade 3 which is juggernaut maximum maximum so let's see what juggernaut maximum maximum does uh, maximum maximum First skill, at the beginning of each main phase, your opponent's vanguard is greater three or greater, until the end of the turn, this unit gets all of the units placed this all of the units placed this turn gets power plus 5k, shield plus 5k. Second skill, at the end of the battle that this unit attack, if four or more of the red guards were placed, this turn costs so blast three, choose a column and stand all your units in that column. If you stand this unit, this unit gets drive minus one until the end of the turn. And at the, at the end of the battle, put all of your red guards at the bottom of the deck in any order. Wow! It's actually pretty good because you get your greater and you can, all your units place this turn gets power plus 5k and shield plus 5k. So yeah, you can. So basically, if you call a Juggernaut Maxon, you'll be 18k without a force marker. If your force marker is 28k, is pretty big. And you can so plus three choose a caller and stand it. If you stand him, you can he gets a drive minus one. So you can. There's another card you can do. Basically, do whatever you want. You can stand. A, you can stand a whole column, or you can just stand him. So yeah, that's pretty good. Nah, this is a this is actually pretty good. Actually, very nice reprint to see. Um, Narukami support. Uh, this is uh, may I call it what's his name again? Water Tang Gun. I can't remember. Huge trigger for Gen. This is Oracle Think Tank. Yes, it's pretty pricey as well. Okay, next pack. Uh, some Jewel Knights. Enigman Storm. Yeah, I remember him. Okay, our next triple R. So this is actually reverse. So this is a royal party reverse unit. So let's see what she does. Okay, so we have actually reverse. Soul blast cost skills cost. Vanguard circle. Soul blast two and lock one of your rare guards. Choose one of your opponent's front row. Retire. It. Look at top four cards of the deck. Choose up to one card with Juna and his card name from Mongland. Call it to rare circle, and put the rest of the rest of them in the bottom of the deck in any order. When this unit attacks, if you have two or more lock cards, cost color bus one, search your deck for up to two grade two or lower cards with Duel Knight in their card names, call them to Regal Circle and shuffle your deck. And for each of your lock cards, this unit gets power plus 10k until the end of the turn. If you have three or more lock cards until the end of the battle, your opponent cannot call Sentinel from hand to Guardian Circle. Wow, this card is a guard restrict, it's pretty cool and it has multi attack because you can superior call. When you attack, you can superior call as well. So yeah, that's attack for up to two two grade two or lower so yeah, you can call two grade two or lower jewel knights yeah it's pretty good yeah i have to say yeah this card is actually pretty good and when, if you use this skill so to lock one of your rare guards you can retire one and then you can choose one jewel knight and call it to rare circle so yeah that's yeah, very strong actually very good okay some reprints the royal paladin heal garnet is also pretty pricey good thing they reprinted it Next pack. The sister Mocha. No, sorry, this is better sister Coco. Yeah. The Metro Police. And we have uh, Ripper Genovius for Aquaphor. So let's see what she does. Okay. Thunder. Thunder Rip. Thundering Ripper Genovius. So first skill, corner. Thunderbus 1, Sobras 1. Look at the 5 cards from the top of the deck. Call up to 1 card from the morning. Call, choose up to 1 card from the morning. Call it to Regal Circle and shuffle your deck. Second skill, when this unit attacks, if you have no front row stand units, cause Carnot Blast 1, choose one of your rear guards and stand it. If your damage has 4 or more cards, stand all of your rear guards. If you have Rising Reaper power up in your soul, or you stand, you take back at power plus 5k, end of the turn. So yeah, another really strong card. Let's you uh, call a free rear guard from your top 5 cards by playing a soul blast every single turn. And when he attacks, you can... You can color box one, choose one of your rear guard and stand. If you have four damage, you can stand all your rear guards. If you have the great two so which most probably you will have the great two so and they all get power plus 5k. So yeah, it's a quite something like a mini uh what was that? Stride again, Lambros, but better because he stands all rear guards. If you have the great two so yeah, that's pretty good. So some reprints, you guardian for Genesis. 
So we are left with three packs, that means we are left with three more uh, great trees we haven't seen yet. And we haven't seen our SP yet, so I'm hoping, wondering what we get. So this is a Maraconi card, and we have another Trupa, so this is the Murakumo Trupa, let's see what she does. So we have Shikigami Tamer Ryogi. So for skill, Kanaba, so look at five cards on top of your deck, choose up to one card with Stealthy in his card name from among them, call it the Rega Circle, and shuffle your deck. If your opponent's Venga is grade 3 or greater, choose up to two cards instead of one. When a Rega is placed by this unit's ability, this unit gets this unit's card's name until the end of that turn. Sorry, that unit gets this card's name until the end of the turn. Venga Circle, when this unit attacks, does not hit, cause Sobas 2, choose up to one. Just up to the same number of cards with Stealthy in your card name from the drop as the number of the additional Rega Circle, call them to the additional Rega Circle. So yeah, that's actually pretty good. It gets multi-attack and then when you call a Rega, the Rega gets this card's name. So yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's it. It's pretty good. Q Guardian from Murakumo. Okay, we are left with two packs. So if I'm not wrong, we haven't seen our Eradicator main grade 3 with Boeing Saber Reverse and we haven't seen the Bumura Grade 3 as well, so let's see what we get. So we have Alif, Kubura Grade 2, and we have oh, that means our SP is going to be Void Saber Reverse. But okay, it's, I guess Void Saber Reverse is good. So okay, so we have Duo Temptation Greed. So um, actually, Omega Circle costs buy one of the rare guards and draw a card. At the end of the battle, this unit attack costs Kanabas 1, discard one card from the hand, stand this unit. This unit gets drive minus 1 until the end of the turn. Choose up to one card from your bind zone with the same card name as the card discarded for this cost. Call it to Rega Circle. If your opponent's Vanguard is greater 3 or greater, you can imaginarily give force and put that marker onto your Vanguard Circle. Wow, that's actually pretty good. And... Once per turn, you can buy one Rega and draw one. It's pretty good. And then... Some of discard one card. You can stand this unit. You can get drive minus one. Choose up to one card from your bind zone with the same card name as the card you discarded. Call it the Rega Circle. If your Vanguard is V3, you get the force. So yeah, that's pretty good. So you get two force in one turn. And the second force... The first force, you can put it anywhere you want. The second force, you can you have to put it on the Vanguard Circle. So yeah, pretty good. So uh, yes, another good reprint. This is Dragonic. Dragonic Descendant. Very good reprint. So our last pack. We already know what we... What we're gonna get, so let's just slowly go through it. Okay, main grade 3, uh, Royal Paladin? No, yeah, Royal Paladin, Bumuno Triangle, and yes, we got it. Our SP is Eraser, Eradicator, Boeing, Saber, Dragon, Rivas. So let's see what it does. Okay, so we have Eradicator, Boeing, Saber, Dragon, River. First skill, Konamas 1 and lock one of your rear guards. Your opponent chooses a card from your hand, rear guards and drop zones and bind them. Second skill is when your opponent's normal unit is bound other than, other than from their deck during this turn, your opponent chooses their deck for up to one card with the same card name as the bound card. Bind it and shuffle your deck. Your, you choose one of your units, it gets power plus 5k until the end of the turn. If your opponent did not bind a card, it gets power plus 10k instead of a 5k. Second last skill is when this unit attacks, if you have one or more cards in your soul or on your regular circle with Boeing in their card name, cause Kanawas 1, Sobas 1, choose one of your regular and stand it. If, if your damage has four or more cards, stand all of your rear guards. Whoa, this card is insane. His first skill, uh, if anyone plays Yu-Gi-Oh before, I believe you heard of Trishula, Dragon of the Ice Barrier. Yes, it's there. Exactly what it does. It's exactly the same as Trishula Dragon on the Ice Barrier. And when when you buy a card, your opponent can choose to buy one of the same the card that you bound with the same name. If he doesn't, your you your reg, you can choose one rare card. It gets power plus 10k. If he if he does, he gets power plus 5k. So it doesn't really matter. And if you have four more damage and you have a warring on rare guards uh, you're in your soul, you can stand you can stand one rare guard. If you have warring in your soul or rare guard circle, you stand all. Wow, this card is insane. I guess I have to say this is like this will be the strongest card of this set. I I believe so. Because really good, really insane. Come with prints and let's just take a time to admire the SP. And if you notice, uh the SP has like a red color border here and their the clan has also changed to like a grey outline or red color. Normally if you look at the Let's just take a normal reverse unit here, Triple R version. So normally if you notice, uh, their clan icon still stays. But since this is an SP, they get the Link Joker treatment. So 
Yeah, that's very nice. So that's actually beautiful. Look at that Boeing Saber Reverse SP. So yep, that is our first box. Uh, box opening. So yeah, I have to say pretty good. We put a card that I actually won with Boeing Saber Reverse SP. Would well, be better to pull a VSR of course, but there yeah, I kind of complain. Boeing Saber Reverse SP is pretty good. So yeah. Alright guys, so this is our pack 5 opening, please stay tuned for our pack 6 opening which is even more exciting because we're going to open a total of 4 boxes and we're going to do it at the same time. So yeah, please, please stay tuned for that video.